Welcome back to Living Local. A local nonprofit is on a mission to transform the living spaces of those less fortunate by furnishing and decorating homes. But they do need your help to create these warm and inviting spaces. And here to tell us how we can help is Stacy Hornbuckle, CEO of Humble Dwellings. How are you, Stacy? I'm great. How hey, are you? welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. We on. match. We fantastic. do. We coordinate very Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm fascinated by Humble Dwellings and and what you've done here. So can you tell us just in general what is Humble Dwellings and how did it get its start? Um, well, it got its start from our founder, Karen Van de Castile, a lovely lady who found someone at church who needed um, some furnishings. So she okay. and her girlfriends out in North Scott area went and garage sailed and okay. filled this home and it filled their hearts and yeah. they wanted to keep doing it. So for about five years, they um, would just find people who need it yeah. and they would go shopping and thrift shopping and do their magic. And I love that. after about five years, it it needed to become a, a she yeah. saw the need for yeah. the ministry in the community. Oh, I, so, I love that. And yes. so let's talk about who you help and, and how do you know who needs help? I, I can't imagine the number of families that, that benefit from it. Um, I'll tell you what, I was a teacher, so I've been in the public school systems mm -hmm. and around people and I am so, excited about yeah. um, how many, how much help we can provide yeah. because I didn't know, even in the public, I didn't know how many mm -hmm. families there were yeah. who were truly in need. And I also didn't know how many agencies out there and resources there were yeah. to help those people. So it's, it's a very fulfilling. Um, people helping people. It's a beautiful people thing. Helping it really, people helping people. It really people is a beautiful thing. People. I yeah. love that so much. Yeah. So let's talk to us about how, you know, the help that you do give some of those families and individuals. You know, you, obviously you mentioned they would go out thrifting for things and things mm -hmm. like that, but it's grown to where you pretty much yes. renovate entire homes. <clears throat> yes. Now. So about five years ago, we got nonprofit status. Okay. Um, we used to do about four to five homes 10 mm -hmm. years ago, and we are, this year was, I think, 132. Wow. So a lot of help going wow. out. Um, we take in um, donations from the community, okay. very gently used. Um, bet, uh, not bets. Uh, we use our grant money to buy all new bedding. And That's beds. amazing. Um, so we do take bedding. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. take dresser, lightweight dressers, mm -hmm. little kitchen tables. You know, the spaces we work in are typically small, mm -hmm. so we're not looking for large tables sure. or um, anything too hefty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we um, we take in donations and then we use those to re yeah. repurpose them into these yeah. people's homes. So you yeah. take you take donations. So that's where everything comes from is donations slash some of the grant money that oh, goes to buy. Yes. it's a little we, bit of everything. We have a lot of need for monetary donations too because okay. sometimes you just don't have the things that need filled in. Sure. Over the toilet storage is really um, big, and okay. we we usually have to buy that. Um, mm -hmm. You know, whatever whatever we don't have in stock that we deem a necessity for a home. Sure. Um, yeah. We use some of that money for. We like to do yeah. new pillows, um, you know, just to keep it, yeah. to give them a little pride and a little dignity. A little bit of ownership. And a yeah. step up. You yeah. Know? Somebody said to me one time, um, it's not a handout, it's a hand up. And that's, oh, and that's really what we're trying I love to that. do. We're trying to hand up and yeah. let them get on their feet. I love better. looking at it as like a hand up. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Yeah. So, I, you know, I got to wonder. Man, this is such a fat. I'm just so fascinated yeah. by what uh -huh. you do. Yeah. Uh, it just must be such a. You, you were talking about how fulfilling <clears throat> and rewarding it was. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the look on people's faces must just mm, bring mm. you so much joy into it your heart, right? It is soul filling. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like um, it's a win win all around because I think the people yeah. who are donating are feeling good about. Um, giving. I think the people who are receiving yeah. are feeling great. The people who are doing the muscle work, it's you know, they feel good. Goodwill. It's all around <laughs> just goodwill. It I really is. That. And the people, when when they come back, um, they are uh, um, sometimes moved to tears. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're all humans, and they all have different mm -hmm. reactions. And some of them are are just awestruck and they're yeah. silent. Yeah. You know, and then later they'll they'll mm -hmm. um, speak out on how impactful oh. it is. It's just, it. it's really great. I it's, love it. It's a lovely. So let's talk about uh, how people can support your mission because it is such an, an important thing that everyone out there needs to to support mm -hmm. you. So how can, how can um, you There that? are so many different ways. You, you They could volunteer. Um, mm -hmm. Our biggest need for volunteers right now are trailers 
other drivers. So if you know anybody who is a retiree sure. who's looking for, you know, just a little bit, you can always say no when you're called. Mm -hmm. But we need people who know how to pull a trailer. Yeah. Um, they don't have to move the items, mm -hmm. you know, if their bad, back's bad or whatever. <laughs> we just really need the trailer driver. Yeah. And we also need um, people who can do the moving. So younger, maybe young professionals who nice. want so you to. you think I'm younger. That's nice yeah. of you. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, young professionals who, you know, want to get great. some people from work yeah. or maybe they have corporate um um, service hours mm -hmm. that they can they can come help us. Yes. Well, Stacy, thank you so much for stopping in. Yes. We really appreciate it. For okay. more information on how you can help, you can search Humble Dwellings on Facebook. We'll have all those details posted at ourquadcities.com.